Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want right now. If you want pardon. If you want peace. If you want pardon. Bow down on Jesus knees. Bless and good morning, good day, good evening, good night, whatever time you drop by. I am teacher Hillary and my topic today is search me God and know my heart. So we do some definitions. So we have definition search, try to find something by looking or otherwise seeking carefully and thoroughly. So we asking God to search us. When we ask God to search us, we are asking him if he could find anything in us that is not right and is changing or letting go. Then it's up to us the individual to make it right. By getting rid of whatever it is that offend God or what is keeping us back from moving forward spiritually. So Psalms 139 verses 22 to 24 tells us, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in a way everlasting. So we do know some more definition. No. To be aware of the truth. Be aware of, be aware through observation. We're taking a good look in the mirror and talk to self and do some self searching. And when you do that self searching, right, whatever it may be, you may find, and you know you cannot do it by yourself, then you need God's help to help you, to give you the strength, to give you the courage. To overcome whatever the problem may be. Some may be small, some may be large, some may be difficult. You know, but if it's keeping you back from moving forward, you have to seek God's help. But God could give you the strength and the courage to fight and to give up and to let go whatever it is are holding you back. We have heart. Is a circle, the center of emotion. So the heart is the center of the emotion. The heart is the one that keeping us alive. But if that heart stop beating, we will be no more. But the heart is the center of emotion. Whether right? it's affection, love, appreciation, make you to be a compassionate person, a caring person, and the list goes on. So, if, when you're talking about heart, we have good heart, as I said, compassionate heart, loving people, caring people, but there are people with evil heart. You know, your heart are corrupt and it's causing you now to not be a likable person or you're always rough and grumpy to other people and, you know, we call that evil heart. And evil heart are experts of creating confusion and contention. So that's not a right person or a right heart to have if you want to follow God and walk in His precepts. If you want to follow God, we have to remember our God is a loving God. He's a caring God. He gave us so many chances within our life. So why it is if we have an evil heart, evil thoughts about somebody towards everybody, whatever the case may be, and you want God to help you. But if you want God to help you, you have to uh, make that step and make that change. Do some self-search. Look in the mirror, look at yourself inside out and dig deep and find what it is causing you to have that evil heart, that evil mind, that evil appearance, 
whatever it may be that is not resting right with God, you got to make a change. You got to make a change before it's too late. But poor adventure, if the Lord shall take you home and you have to get that chance to change your heart and it was evil against your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your family, your friend, where shall be your portion or what shall be your portion? Are you going to ask an unclean God? Spirit, where is my God? That time is too late. The time is right now. Right this minute as we breathe that breath in our, in our body. The Lord gave us a chance to breathe our breath. We are on the face of the earth 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. We have enough chance to make that change within our life if there's changes to make. And you know, every individual know their self. And if you know yourself, and you know there's something wrong, there's changes to make, you know, let us make that changes. Because we're quick to blame other people. Them do me that. They say this. They say that. Or he do this. She do that. What they play. This. But what are you playing? What are you doing with your life? What are you doing with God's body or God's spirit that he put within you to do his will or to serve him you gotta be evil you gotta be a good loving caring person so check the content of your heart and do some self-searching and make it right with God Jeremiah 17 9 to 10 tells us the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doing. So as my DC spiritual mother had gone, she used to always say, which you know, who do good, you do good for yourself. Who do bad, you do bad for yourself. So whatever your content or your heart or who you would have in mind. You ain't doing the person nothing really, you know. You're doing your own self. And if you want some self-change and betterment, and you want God to help us on this journey, we have to do some self-church. We have to do some change before mercy day gate is closed. And as the topic say, you're asking God, search me, God, and know my heart. I ask him what to search, you know, but you individual know your heart, you know. You know it. You know it very well. You know, so we as people, we have to make it right within our life. Each and every one are responsible for their own self-salvation. And we have to make it right. Because I don't know about you, but I don't want to go on board in no hellfire. You see, in hell and trouble up here and on the land and earth. And you want to go see the hell and trouble and fire burning you everlasting? No. No. So let us make it right, people. No man know the time and the hour. You do not know when you will leave the soup. So while we have breath, let us let us say one day at a time, sweet Jesus. One day at a time, take it and do some self search and keep dropping off and taking off and changing because all the good is for you the individual but you're still asking god be thou lord the guide and your guide and he will hear you when you call as long as you're calling as sincerely within your heart you're calling sincerely for that help he will be there to help you because you're always there to help us so family and friend let's examine ourselves carefully if you find something that is wrong and it's not right, it's not pleasing with God, you know, and you're struggling with that mind decision, call upon him. Call him until you need help. You need it desperately. The help he will give you is to give you the courage. The help he will give you is to give you the strength. The help he will give you is to you recognizing that you need help and you, have, and you need a problem. And you need help and you have a problem. So stand strong, be strong in the Lord, you know, seek God, seek knowledge, seek wisdom, seek understanding. And when you seek all these things, 
All other things will be added to you by the grace of God. So we need help and our greatest help is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So have a good day. Have a good morning. Have a good night. Thank you for passing by. Come again. Stop by. Leave a comment. Love to hear from you all. Thank you all for supporting us for the past two years. And like, share, press that notification button. Goodbye.